Today on the workbench, we are going to check out the Axial Racing SCX24 Jeep Wrangler JLUCRC. That was a lot of words. So I'm super excited to open this guy up today and put it through its paces. I, I've never had a rock crawler before. I do love the mini cars. You know, we've got the WL Toys 144001 and we've got the Low C Mini B. So the smaller cars are fun. You can do stuff in the yard, they're great. But I've never had a rock crawler before. Uh, I have gone rock crawling once in real life out in Moab. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot more work than I thought it would be. So hopefully this isn't uh, as much work. Uh, quite a lot to keep the razor on the trail and stuff. But anyway, Tons of fun doing it in real life, so I said, let me give it a shot. Let's check out what an RC crawler could do. Watched a bunch of videos, saw what a bunch of guys were doing, and said, you know what? This looks like a ton of fun. I am going to pick one up myself. I am going to check it out, and I am going to put it through its paces in the yard. So let's take a look at this. So got this the other day from Amy Hobbies. It came in a couple of days, which is awesome. This thing is amazing. Look at that. I got the yellow body. It's a Jeep Rubicon. It is officially the SCX24 Jeep Wrangler JLUCRC. I honestly don't know what a JLUCRC is, but it is awesome. 24th scale. Comes with everything you need. It said it's got the radio, it's got servo, it's got an ESC combo, it's got a charger, it's got the brushed motor, 88 turn, it comes with a little 2S lipo. Oh! And it says it comes with four AA batteries for the transmitter, which is fantastic. That means everything in here is included that we need to actually open this guy up and run it. So it looks like it's based off the SCX-10 platform. I'm not that familiar with it. Like I said, I've never done any rock crawling. I don't have a rock crawler in my collection, but maybe I'll get a full-size one next. Talking about the gears here, it shows us a chassis. It's got our little shocks, all the different things. You know. Looking at it here, it says it is 7.8 inches long, 3.9 inches wide, and 4.2 inches high. So it's a little bit of a thing. But check this guy out. Oh, it says it's got LED lights included. Oh yeah, I can see some of the wires there. I didn't realize this thing had lights, so that is really cool. So, oh, it looks like, I forgot this was here, getting in the spirit of rock crawling. We have some uh, dirt left over from our TTO2 rally bash. If you've checked that out, that was a full kit build with hop-ups and everything, and then we bashed it through the yard. I'll put a link to that playlist right here so you can check that out. But really, let's dive into this thing. I am dying to see what this thing can do. I want to charge up the battery. I want to check it out on the, on the uh, workbench itself. And then I want to take it outside and I want to go rock crawling. So let's check it out. Look at that guy. He's all packaged up there. He's got his little background. Doesn't he look amazing? This thing is so cool. So it looks like he is just out of place by one little zip tie here. Right. And out it comes. Oh, look at that thing. That is so cool. It's got friction shocks. My understanding is there's no oil in there. I'll make you a bet that there might be some hot racing upgrades coming uh, in the mail for this car. No promises, but pretty sure that we are, uh, we do have stuff coming. Look at this guy. So it's really got some nice scale looks. I mean, it looks exactly like the Ford OG Rubicon. You got your stickers. Looks like you've got a spare tire holder on the back. Um, looking down here with four link. Suspension, uh, looks like three link up front, maybe four in the back. Tires are kind of soft. It's everything is adorably small. Look at this, oh, there's the lights. Okay, so the front bumper here seems to, uh, seems to have the lights. You've got the servo is mounted on the thing. So my understanding is this comes out and then the body is, yeah, look at that, the body is hinged. So you take a look at it here, you've got, uh, looks like this is a combination receiver ESC. Um, you've got your little battery right here. You've got your 88 turn motor. Yeah, this servo is mounted uh, on the front axle, so the chassis moves independently. You've got, look at that, you've got a lot of, you know, angle here that you can adjust. That is pretty cool. Looks like the shocks have little uh, fake scale reservoirs. This is a cool, cool little car. Let's check out the battery. What did it come with? I know it said it was a 2S LiPo. So when we open him up, yeah, look at that little reaction. 
battery, so we will, uh, let's get him charging. So I assume that there must be a uh, charger in the box. Let's see what else is in the box, okay. So the first thing we have here is a bag with some stuff. It looks like we've got our, uh, our batteries here. It looks like you've got some extra parts as well. I see a user guide in there. I do love my manuals. So we've got, oh, a connector guide explaining all the different connectors that we use. Uh, we've got free cool brand swag just for registering a new Horizon Hobby brand product. All right, we will check that out, Horizon Hobby. We do love some free swag. Uh, looks like you got some extra parts. It looks like a drive axle and some links, so that's cool. Uh, definitely got a little tiny Allen, excellent. Up there are the four AA batteries, so that is absolutely fantastic that we do not need to supply our batteries. That truly is ready to run out of the box. And here is uh, the manual. So I assume down here, under this additional packaging, is... Yeah. Let's see if that comes out. And we have our our remote. Oh, it's a nice little remote. AX4 transmitter. Okay. Oh, look at that. It looks like you've got channel one trim, low, medium, and high. You've got a channel three. You can reverse channel one. It looks like you can switch some sort of direction. There's the bind button. Very, very, very cool. It's a nice little transmitter. It's got a little foam pad on the wheel. Not bad for a ready run. And there we go. Here is what we were looking for. Here is our charger. So, can't do anything unless we charge this guy up. So, let's get this charger here. It looks like it is a straight up USB charger. So, we are going to need to plug him into a brick in order to charge this. Okay. Okay. Just look at this guy. He is very cool with these scale accessories. I see the lights there. It is really, really well put together. The body is painted nice. I don't see any blemishes. The stickers are all on there really, really tightly. This thing looks awesome. I cannot wait for this battery to fully charge so that we can take him outside and we can start rock crawling. So let's fast forward to a fully charged battery and let's go hit the trails.
So that was incredible. This thing is amazing. I had a blast. It, it crawls, it, it goes slow, but it's steady. It was so much fun to drive. I never thought I would have that much fun driving slow. I mean, it definitely needs a little bit of work and I, I definitely want to update. As you can see, it um, rolls over quite a bit. I was reading online that different weights um, underneath, you know, lowering the center of gravity can help. So I, uh, I got some parts for it. Uh, you know, first thing we're going to do in a later video is we're going to put on these hot racing springs. I 3D printed a whole bunch of stuff. Here's a little roof rack. I got some inner fenders here. I even picked up some new tires. I'm just waiting for uh, the rest of the parts to show up. I mean, I had a blast. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I really was planning on leaving this, uh, you know, stock maybe. And uh, I couldn't even wait that long. I mean, as soon as I got inside before I finished this recap, I ordered a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm really excited by this. Um, it was a ton of fun. It worked really well. Out of the box, this thing is awesome. You really can do so much with it. I can't leave well enough alone, so I'm gonna update it. But honestly, again, so much fun. This thing was great. So I hope you guys all enjoy these videos uh, as much as I do. So please, if you can, like these videos and subscribe so I can keep making them. I really am trying to make a video every week. Hopefully, you know, if you subscribe, you won't miss out. And in the next couple of weeks, we will see this guy all updated with some new parts. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.